What's up everyone and welcome back to my Revisiting COD Zombies series. Today we are finally tackling the remaster remakes from Black Ops 3 Chronicles. Uh, and we're starting with Natja and Toten. And yeah, it's a pretty self-explanatory thing. We're just going to see how far we get on this map. We've obviously done this map twice before in this series. The original World at War one. And then the Black Ops 2 version. I think we even visited it. Or the Black Ops 1 version. And then, like I said, we, re we revisited Nactor and Toten in Black Ops 2 Transit, I think. So we've seen this map a lot, but we are not done seeing it. Because today, we are visiting it once again in Black Ops 3. Because we can. And we even saw it on Revelation. This map has been remade a lot. I'm pretty sure Nactor has been remade more in, a, in Call of Duty games than Nuketown has. Which is kind of embarrassing. Because Nuketown is like the meme of it being, oh, they, COD just won't stop putting Nuketown in their games. But, yeah. I, I was considering putting uh, more unique Mega Gobble Gums on my, on my setup here, but uh, I forgot. So we're going to run Nectar and Toten with these uh, Bob Candle Gobble Gums. And we're just going to be happy about it. So yeah, um, this is this isn't gonna be like a, a mad video. It's just gonna be me chilling out and just chatting, and just enjoying a little bit of a nostalgia trip because I, I do like this. Video. It's not my favourite version, of that, but it's like this, it is more fun with the gobble gums and wonderfuls. Something that none of the other items have featured in. Actually, no, I think there's a wonder fizz on the machine. Okay, we'll get to that eventually. Right? Okay. But yeah, I'm just very, very excited to be in the Chronicles era of zombies because I can't believe we're so far into the series now that we are nearly at Black Ops 4. That's something I never thought we'd reach in the revisiting zombies series because, like I say, Black Ops 3 is like the heyday. You know? I mean, at one point I was considering stopping this series at the end of Black Ops 2, but I thought, no, we'll do Black Ops 3, and I thought, that's not, but we actually are going to reach Black Ops 4 and Cold War probably now, because we are doing this at such a decent pace nowadays. I think it's just because Black Ops 3 is like my favourite zombie game, and then uh, Black Ops 4 isn't as much, but it's still alright. I, I think that Black Ops 4 is I hate like the, the flaws that Black Ops 4 have are greatly exaggerated. Like they do have issues, and we'll get to those issues in Black Ops 4 when we reach the game. Uh, but the maps in there are great. So, but I guess it's all down to preference, isn't it? Really. Um, there are some people that probably hate Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 on those games. Those people are wrong. Yeah. Um, it is really ridiculous. Um, it's a shame that I didn't get to include the non tray arcs, but maybe I'll do them one day. Um, because especially when it comes to exo zombies, because I have a lot of nostalgia for exo zombies. So, it's a great series to look to revisit the exo zombies. They, they were a part of my childhood almost as much as like Black Ops 1, was, which is mad to say because on the So, there you go, what can you do? Right. No zombies in sight to use it, which is terrifying. If we get mule kick, we'll have four weapons. Alright, cool. Uh, we're going to get to go. Uh, the Annihilator is like a donkey dog. It's less so. Snipers in Black Ops 3 are decent. The, the Draken is just like 
the single best sniper in the zombie. Let's just snipe some fools from a distance, see how we do. I think a sniper is good for the early rounds on this map because they take years to arrive at the windows. He has to stand completely still for me to hit that one, apparently. And yeah, that one lands. What is my aim? My aim is crap today, apparently. I'm usually good at this. I'm usually great at headshots, what's wrong with me? Okay. Yeah. I'm approaching my headshots. That'd be pretty funny, to be fair. I would definitely laugh. <laughs> Shooting, or I'm about to die here. Jesus. See, I hit that one. Hit that one too. Am I getting better, or is that just pot luck? No? Sounds okay. I don't know zombies. No zombies. Okay, well, let's go to the here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna run out there. We're on round four. I don't know this. Cool. What was I saying? This was before the movie and jumping in that terrible aim. Uh. How much do I love zombies? I mean, I'm talking about that every single zombies video, to be honest. But no, I, I'm very, very glad. I mean, let's just talk about the fact that, like, Zombies Chronicles happened. Like, because. I was having a conversation with someone about who was like a passive Hot Zombies player who it's the typical thing you hear of like they stopped playing after Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 felt a bit too weird, like they felt like the Easter eggs were more important than the gameplay, all that stuff that they that those sort of people say. And um, and they were said, I just want a game that features all of the zombies maps. And I said, Well, this Black Ops 3 is the closest you're gonna get, and he said, "What? How come? That's the that's the game that has the has, has the maps with all of the really confusing Easter eggs. How is that one gonna be any better for me?" I'm like, well, it's got Zombies Chronicles, which really features like 90% of all of the maps that were ever made up to that point. I mean, people don't really acknowledge the fact that Black Ops 3 literally has literally probably the definitive COD Zombies game. Like, with, with, with custom zombies as well, that's just further, further solidified, in my opinion. I, yeah, madness. Honestly. Black Ops 3 is the pinnacle. WHERE IS THIS LAST ZOMBIE?! WHERE IS HE?! What the fuck?! There he is, Christ alive! You're gonna fucking take another year to get through that window as well?
Uh, anyway, um, lovely stuff. So, uh, over there. Lovely. This guy hit him from miles away. This fish takes so long to spawn in, I swear. Like, they make this spawn location like a mile out of the map that way. And I'm like, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that one. see you in a window and they pass your window to get to one that's further away because that's their pathing. The pathing is on as always doesn't it uh, I'm pretty sure they like improve that in later but I just find it more confusing than this thing. My god. This last zombie thing on black on un unnacked is kind of shit. It's always been kind of shit. Just waiting for the last zombie to show up. Oh my god, it takes so long. I swear. I fucking swear, Jesus. Is that are you the last guy? You the last guy. I know we can. Shadows of Evil and stuff like that. But I just think, like, I think that it's the argument of, like, I've always said this, I think it doesn't need a remake. The Rise and Drac doesn't need a remake. Kobe, Kobe, that's a boat. They don't need it. They're great maps on their own. Which is why it was so interesting. Why people keep each other fuss about the origin of Remake in Home Chronicles? Because a lot of people don't like it. I personally do, but I just feel like the community ain't broken, don't fix it. Because Origins was a good map on it, but I didn't need the Black Ops 3 engine to be good. In my opinion, it helps it, because the Black Ops 3 engine is smoother for what Origins is as a map, because Origins is very literally a Black Ops 3 map. It still works. It still works. It still works. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to quick revive. That was another rule that I didn't really specify. With these rule listing zombies, I don't want to get quick revive because I don't want to have to like redo anything. There's no retakes. There's no second chances. This is just lengthens the video unnecessarily, especially when it's a boring map and I don't want to lose it longer than it has to be. If I die here, then I die here. You know, I don't want to have to die again, grab guns again. Let's hit the box again, I'll do other one. Uh, Locus is wanting to get out of that one. Oh, that was a good one, I didn't know. Hey, here we go. 
There's only so much you can do on Knack before the video gets boring, so that's just funny. Oh, that's really funny. Oh, that's great. I hope you guys enjoyed my attempt of Black Ops 3, Knack, and Toten, and I'll see you on Black Ops 3 for Knack. Uh, Vernucked? That's definitely the name. I've invented a new name for it. You're welcome, Canada. I'll see you on Verrucked. Black Ops 3. Hopefully soon. Bye.